We are here inside of InDesign, and I'd like to show you how we can set up a text box to automatically resize to fit the text contained within it. So I have a very simple text box just down here. I've colored the background red over here in the um, properties panel, and I've just made the text white. So I'm thinking, let's say this is a page full of um, content for a form, and I'm thinking this is to be a little button at the bottom of that form. So let's format this to make it look a little bit more like a button after exploring exactly what we can do. So we've got that selected, go up to object, and we're looking for text frame options. Also notice the keyboard shortcut there, it's command or control B. Okay, so here's our text frame options dialog box, and let's jump straight down to the auto size option just here. You can see by default, it's turned off. Let's uh, systematically explore all of these options. So if we set this to height only, and you can see that the box height has changed. It's shrunk to hug the text, but notice the width has not changed. We can change the anchor point about where this uh, collapsing is happening. So top, middle, or bottom there. We can also set a minimum height. So if I say click in here and use my up and down arrow keys, I can change that to say a minimum height of 20. Okay, the next option down is width only. And similar to before, we can change the anchor point, in this case, left, middle, and right. Uh, we can set a minimum width. So say I dial in something like 80 mil just there. That's the result just there. And we also have this option just down here, no line breaks. So if I turn off minimum width, you can see that this is broken over multiple lines because of the presence of two words and the space just in there. So if I don't want to set a minimum width, but I want no line breaks, just activate that. And that's the result just there, very nice. Okay, next option down, height and width. Okay, let's turn everything off. Like before, we can change the anchor point. Uh, we have lots of options this time all over the place. And we can set, say, a minimum height and a minimum width if we wish. And we do also have the option, if I turn off minimum width, we could, for example, turn back on no line breaks. So you can see that's the uh, result of that just there. So again, nothing we haven't already seen before, guys. And height and width keep proportions, very similar to before, but the main thing to note here is if I turn everything off, and if I turn off the preview, that's the original text box, okay? So just get a bit of a feel for the width to height ratio just there. If we have keep proportions turned on, if I, for example, set a minimum height, turn the preview back on just there, it's going to maintain those same proportions from the original text box, but just honor whatever setting we have just in there. Similar thing if we set a minimum width, and you can see if I change this, the height is accommodating the original aspect ratio as well. Okay, now let's uh, make this a more practical example. So I'm gonna come back and set the auto sizing to say height and width. I don't want to set a minimum height or a minimum width, but I would like no line breaks. I don't want that text breaking over multiple lines. Now, obviously we have some padding issues just here. I'm thinking I would like a little bit of padding top and bottom and a lot more padding left and right. Now, if I come back within the text frame options dialog box to this general section just here, I have an inset spacing section just here. Now, if I turn this chain link icon on just here, if I make a change to say top, you can see all four options are changing just here. So you can see the padding is indeed changing all the way around. Now, I'm liking that two mil spacing top and bottom, but let's make it dramatically larger left and right. So let's break that chain icon just there, and let's push left up to say 20, and right up to 20, and I'm pretty happy with that, so let's choose OK at this point. So that's looking pretty good, and just to show you that this is all dynamic, which is fantastic, I'll just drag out a copy of that. I just use the Alt or the Option key there in conjunction with my selection tool. Nice little Adobe trick just there. So if I click inside of here, and if I just type in hello, you can see the text box is resizing. Um, and if I put in say hello, I'm a really big button, you get the idea, it's all happily resizing. So that's auto resizing a text box here inside of InDesign. I hope that helps, catch you later.